Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Ariel and I am the owner of Ari Bea Sticker Shop. I am going to be setting up my new journal today. So I have the second half of my Avec book, 2021 July to December. If you haven't watched one of my previous videos, I recently just flipped through the first half of the year. I've been using this Mina Perhonen cover for the last month or so, ever since I got it. I think this cover is gorgeous and I really like the zip around as well. Uh, but today I'm going to be switching it up. I'm going to be changing my cover, but I haven't decided whether or not I'm going to be using this one, which is my other Mina Perhonen, my Sora Check, or if I'm going to be switching it into any of my other covers that I have here. I think I'm going to switch into this Sugar Rose because I haven't been in it for a long time. So maybe I will choose that, but I'm not sure yet. So. Uh, why don't we get started setting up my notebook first. Uh, I know I'm for sure going to be using that pencil board. Let me just tuck this notebook back in here and then grab out some of my deco and stuff like that that I kept in the back pocket here. This back pocket, by the way, it's revolutionary. I love it. This cover is my only like zipper cover for my Hobonichis and I really like it because of the back pocket. I do have another cover that has a back pocket. Let me just show you. Uh, I have this Moterm A6 cover uh, that I recently got. And this one also does have a back pocket here as well. So I think that having the extra storage to put like stickers and extra things when you're journaling, I love it. I think it is such a good bonus, especially if you're journaling a lot and have a lot of ephemera and sticky notes and um, notepads and stuff like that that you want to keep. But today I think I'm going to be moving into another one which I will show you a little bit later. I used the first one in the first half of my notebook so now I have another one. I have the rest of my tabs. Um, I have a bunch of journaling things that I want to continue using. I'll put that to the side for now as well as my pencil board. I am planning on chunking up this planner quite a bit so we shall see how that goes. Um, let me just check what I did last time. Uh, so the last time I set this up, I put a full page sticker on this side and then I used the kit here. I don't actually remember where I put the rest of my kit, so I just pulled another one from my stash and I'm going to be using it here. I am trying to move the rest of my stock out um, of my inventory of these Hobonichi stickers. so. Um, I do currently have them discounted in my shop because we are already halfway through uh, 2021. So if you are interested in purchasing one of these kits um, for your planners, you don't need to hesitate. They are on sale. I want to get this existing stock that I have uh, moving so that I can work on uh, the new ones for the new year. If you were setting up an Avec book like I am, or if you're still looking for stickers to customize your Hobonichis, then I definitely recommend you pick that up now because they are at a discounted price. Alright, so I have finished putting on the sticker kit. I finished all of the stickers here, so now that I can go in the trash. Uh, I will be decorating this with other things. I don't think I decorated my last one now that I think about it, but um, I actually am planning on doing it this time. Uh, for the next spread here, I will be covering up a few of these as well. And then I will be going in with my A6 vertical monthly or perpetual calendar stickers as well. Uh, to finish up the rest here. So what I'm going to do is um, I put the first half in um, my first book. So now I'm planning on doing it here. Um, I think in my last book I put a Life in Pixels and then uh, the sheet here. But because uh, the Life in Pixels is a full year, I'm not going to be doing that. I'm not going to be putting another one in here. I will just be putting this on this side and then I will just redate all of these to go for the rest of the year here. By the way, if you guys hear um, a little bit of thunder and l see a little bit of lightning, it's currently raining outside, but I still want to film this video. So this video might be a little bit dark, but um, I think it'll be okay. I did turn on a light. So I just peeled off the corner of the full page 
important date sticker and I'm just going to fold it back on itself. I'm going to put it on my hand a couple times so I can reposition it. And then I'm going to line up the corners with the lines that I drew. And then I'm just going to slowly peel back the backing and there we go. That looks pretty much perfect. So I'm going to be using this sticker here to track my mood from my uh, Life in Pixels that's in my other book. I'm going to be keeping both books uh, next to each other so I'll be able to continue using that. I'm probably also going to be tracking uh, like my headaches and my mood uh, here as well because um, I think that's important to track and lately I've been getting a lot of headaches which is pissing me off but I'm gonna see if there's like a trend so I know whether or not it comes during a certain time of the month which probably it does so let me move this out of the way and grab my sticker kit so I used my other sticker kit in full last time so now I'm going to use another one this is the a6 vertical one I also have ones in a5 so let me just see how many I have here if I do July, August, September, October, November, December, then I have one extra page. So I will start on July. August. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, this one. July, August, September, October, November, December. So I'm gonna take this. So this is what my vertical monthly look like in the first half in case you haven't watched um, my previous video and I really like how this looks so I'm going to continue doing it and I still do have a few extra pages in the very back here so I have uh, these as well that I can totally use if I was using this as like a regular planner or something like that I could even use it to pre-plan uh, next year as well so these stickers are not going to waste I'm going to be using them in something else for my monthlies, I usually like journaling in them afterwards, but sometimes I do like adding some deco in. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to be doing that right now, but I do know that I'm going to be... Oh, I forgot I had this, and then I have some tabs as well. Um, so I'm going to attach this vinyl on as well as uh, these tabs. I think I'm going to put that... I think I'm going to put this vinyl here. Because I've been wanting to do it in my... Um, in my July to December, so I want these two to match. So um, I have these vinyls that are in my shop. They are um, available in white gold, which is this one, and then I do have a rose gold one as well. So I need to go get some sort of card or something to run across this, or maybe I'll just use my hands. So I just took the backing off of the vinyl here, and then I'll just place it on the inside cover I have nothing to really line it up with, so I'm just going to go for it and we'll see afterwards. Ideally you would use some sort of like credit card or something like that to peel it off, but I think I'll be okay. Yeah. And that looks just about perfect. I'm going to take this little girl. Put her on the front cover and then maybe I will put some... I'm really enjoying this washi tape so I think it might be cute to put it there. I wanted to put some of these sticker um, flakes in here as well so I have this one that says I won't buy any more planners I promise. And this one is um, a reminder that good things are coming. So I think I might do this pink one, but I do want to put another piece of washi underneath here. So let me just go find something that I want to use. Maybe.
maybe I will use this to bring in the pinks. I love this washi as well. I really like the colors of it, so maybe it'll pick up. Let's reposition that. I think I'll place that there. So this is a sticker die cut, so I'm just going to peel off the edge of the sticker. And now I can stick it down like that. Super cute. I'm just going through my sticker book here trying to find, here we go. Um, I wanted to use either one of these bunnies, the cat, or the bear. Which one do you think looks the best? I will put this guy up here. And that will be my front cover. I always wanted to decorate the front cover of my Techo, so now I'm happy that I finally did. So I have that, that, and now I can put my tabs on. So I'm just going to start from the back, actually, because I think that's the easiest. Uh, here is December. I'm going to be continuing to use these stickers that I have in my shop, and I'm going to need a few clips to hold this down. So I'm going to start with December. These are the transparent ASICs um, tabs from my shop in the classic font, so I'm going to show you how I like putting them on. In case this is your first time watching this video, I pulled up half of the tab and I'm folding it over in on itself, lining up the edges, and I'm just scoring here along the edge. So I do that so when I fold over the sticker the right way, it has something to bend along, so it's a little easier to apply. I do this especially for the clear stickers because they're a little bit more difficult. So I'm going to apply now the December here, and then I'll do the same for November, score along it, pick it up, put it on my hand a couple times, or my finger a couple times so it's not as sticky. So if I need to move it around, it'll still be okay. And I'm going to continue this for all of the other ones, and I will be right back. So I placed all of my tabs and they are pretty much where I want them to be. Now I'm just going to fold them over so that the tabs are complete. It really helps to have a clip to hold down the other side of the book, especially if you're just doing this alone. Um, I think I can do things a little bit more comfortable that way. And because I scored the sticker earlier, it is very, very easy to fold these guys over. And I don't really need to think about it that much. Last one. And I think that looks already pretty cute. So I do have a few more stickers here that I might as well use. Um, I'm going to put on this monthly sticker. on the very first month, July, I'm going to put this on the yearly. and then there is a notes tab as well that I'm also going to be using so I can finish up the sticker sheet and I'll be putting the notes one here oh you know what I should have let's move this oops the notes one will start here on my index and then the yearly would be this one Okay, so that is looking super cute. I'm very happy uh, that I decided to choose these tabs. Now I can 
throw that out. These are what my tabs currently look like and they're freaking adorable. So now I need to decide what cover I'm going to be using so I can stick all my things inside and get ready. Um, I know I'm going to be using a few of these pens and markers in there, but do I use this cover or should I use my camp cover again? Alright, so you know what? I think I'm going to move into this camp cover. Uh, my plan was to go into the Sugar Rose with the Desenka cover, but I'm missing this cover at the moment, so I'm going to go for it. Let's just put my cover inside here. Oh, love it already. And then I'll just tuck in these. I think it looks cute in here. I know for sure that I'm going to be using this fountain pen here with um, my Ferris wheel press ink. You can see the gold shimmer <laughs> in this. So I can put it here in the pen loop and I think it'll look really cute. Oh, okay. Um, I haven't decided if I wanted to decorate the inside. Let's see if I can add a few things in here. I'm going to put that clip back on. I won't be able to close it if I put that clip. Oh, no. Where are all of my stickers and stuff like that that I want to put in here? So these are the things I'm going to be using. My really, really messed up um, pencil board is here that I'm going to continue using. Uh, and then I have just a bunch of extra pictures that I know I'm going to journal with. So I will stick them in the front here. Um, I have some notepad and note paper that I like to use. I like keeping these on hand just in case uh, because I think they're really easy to use and they're very, very pretty. So let's see if these fit inside like that. These ones are not going to fit, unfortunately. So I'm going to have to stick them inside. I think these note papers are going to have to go in the very, very back pocket there because they don't fit anywhere else. And then I'll put these star stickers. Uh, I don't know if they'll fit. Okay, they do. They do fit in this pocket. I just need to be a little bit careful with them. I think I'll just clip this hedgehog there because I think it'll be really cute sitting in the back of my planner. And I think that is going to be it. Oh wait, no. I do have some stickers that I need to keep in here. Uh, these, oh, I mentioned them earlier in uh, my video, but these are the new Hobonichi Countdown stickers that I have designed. They're currently in the shop by the time you're watching this, uh, and I love them. I'm going to be using them both in my cousin and here in my journal as well. So there's basically a countdown of 10 million and one stickers here uh, until the Hobonichi release date. So it starts uh, one month until Hobonichi Day, which is... Um, August 1st and then you get almost every two days so 28, 26, 24, 22, 20, 18, 16, 14, 12, 10 days and then it goes from one week to six days um, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 and then you do get stickers for each of the Hobonichi Day releases usually they do three so that's why I included them and then I included these other stickers at the bottom here that I think are really cute uh, that remind you to make your order, if your order is shipping soon, if it's on its way, uh, once it reaches um, whatever destination country you're in, and then um, all of the little Hobonichi boxes all stacked up together. Let me tell you, I had a lot of fun designing all of these stickers. Uh, I got a little carried away. I didn't intend for it to be super detailed like this, but I got really excited and I still am very excited for the Hobonichi release in September, and it's only June, so um, if you want to pick up these stickers, they're currently in my shop. Uh, you might want to act fast though, so you will be able to get it uh, before the countdown starts. So I'm just going to tuck those in the back here. So now I think it is time to wrap up this video because I know my lighting is going. I just want to finish this video before the lighting uh, goes completely black because of this storm. So I'm going to sign off today. Thank you guys so much for watching me set up my um, July to December Hobonichi Techo journal. I hope you enjoyed watching it. 
I will try my best to film uh, regular updates on my journal because I haven't really done that this year, um, but I'll try and do flips um, every month for the rest of this year so you guys will be able to see how I am progressing with it. Uh, but I think that is going to be it now. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!